How's it going everyone? My name is Gabe and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make custom abilities for your Minecraft Realm World. It's super simple and easy to do. And if this video helps you guys out, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for 40,000 subscribers. You guys are amazing. And if you guys want a question answered in my next video for my Q&A video, go to my community tab and go to the most recent post I posted and comment down below your question so that I can answer it in my 40,000 subscriber Q&A special. But anyways, enough of me yapping. Let's get right into the video and let me show you guys the first ability that i want to show you guys so over here in the very corner right here we have this thing called the ore magnet or i guess ore mag but it's called the ore magnet and without one you obviously can mine ores let me grab all the stuff i need really quick okay so i got it set up as you can see there is raw iron or i guess iron ore that is on the floor right now and i have a diamond pickaxe if i mine it as you can see it won't come next to me it won't pick it up because i don't have the ore magnet so i could go right here and grab all the stuff but nothing's gonna happen because i don't have the ore magnet so let me just pick this up and now let me grab the ore magnet really quick as you can see when i still mine it nothing happens but when i switch the ore magnet everything's gonna be teleported to me and it's going to make a sound effect so again i'm gonna show you guys this really quick i'm gonna mine all this iron ore and let's say there's so much that you don't want to like go and run and pick it up you could actually go like this and i'll give it all to you right there as you can see the ore magnet just worked and it's very simple and the thing about this is that you could actually change how far the ore magnet works from so as you can see back here it doesn't work but if i get closer i think it's within six or ten blocks i have it that it teleports to you and it makes a sound effect and now i have 18 ore total anyways it's really simple to make so let's get right into it so the first command block is going to be a repeating command block and to give yourself a command block do slash give at s command underscore block and receive one in your inventory and it'll look like this make sure when you place down the command blocks that they're like this all facing the same direction so make sure they're all facing the same way and if not and one of them is facing upwards like this then it will not work because it will stop right here so again make sure that all your command blocks are facing the same direction that is very important and this first one's going to be the first one in the line so again this first one's going to be a repeat command this one's really simple it's repeat unconditional always active and it's tag at a remove mag really simple the second command block is a chain unconditional always active and this one is tag at a square bracket has item equals wavy bracket item equals compass comma location equals slot dot weapon dot main hand comma data equals 10 and wavy bracket and square bracket add mag now what this is pretty much doing is that it's going to tag the person who has a compass in their main hand with a data tag of 10 and the data tag is very important so when you give yourself a compass don't go into the creative menu and search up compass it will not work what you want to actually do is type it in chat do slash give at s compass 1 10 as you can see on the bottom of the screen it says amount and then data the number one means you're going to get one compass and the data is the data of 10. So make sure you get your compass like that. Anyways, the third command block, it's a chain, unconditional, always active. And this one's simple. Execute as at a square bracket tag equals mag and square bracket at at s run tp at e square bracket type equals item comma name equals quotation mark raw iron and quotation mark comma r equals eight and square bracket at s and what this command block is pretty much doing is that if you have the tag of mag it's going to tp all the items that are named raw iron in a radius of eight to you and yes this means you have to make a command block for every single item you want to be teleported or used as a magnet so you can see i have diamonds right here but it won't connect to me if i have the ore magnet because i don't have a command block made for it so this is how you're going to add to the commands you pretty much want to keep the last command block at the very end so i'm going to actually pick block this command block and what pick blocking does is that you can actually copy and paste your command block so this has everything in it but again keep this command block at the end so i'm going to destroy this right here and i'm going to pick block this one and i'm going to pretty much place it right in front of it and i'm going to change this raw iron to diamond i'm going to change it to diamond just like that then i'm going to place the end command block at the very end and now this should work now when i mine the diamonds and i hold out the ore magnet i get the diamonds as well as you can see i don't have it out and when i hold it it's gonna go right into my inventory and make that sound effect. And to make it easier, I actually renamed the command block. So this one is removing the tag. This one's gonna add the tag. This one's gonna get the iron. This one's gonna grab the diamonds. And at the very end, this is the last command block. It's a chain, conditional, always active, and the delaying takes is 100. This one's super simple. It makes a sound effect. It's optional as well. It's slash play sound, random.orb at a square bracket has item equals wavy bracket item equals compass comma location equals slot.weapon.mainhand 
comma data equals 10 and wavy bracket and square bracket and this pretty much just makes a sound effect when you collect the items but yeah that's how you make the ore magnet let's go into the next ability this one is called fire nova so i'm gonna grab some fire nova from this inventory or i guess this shulker that's what i'm meant to say so what i did was spawn some mobs and you can see i have fire nova in my hand and when i drop the fire nova it's going to make a sound effect explosion. It's going to kill things around me. As you can see, the iron golems are still alive because they take more damage to actually destroy them. So I can just throw them like this. Boom, and now it is dead. And this works in a radius of, I think, eight or five or something. I don't really know. As you can see behind me, the iron golem is getting hurt. There you go. Now he's cooked. So yeah, let me show you guys how to make this really quick. So for this one, there are seven command blocks. And again, make sure all the command blocks are facing the same direction. And at its very back, we're going to make this one the first command block you're going to do. It's a repeat unconditional always active. And it's execute as at a if entity at e square bracket type equals item comma name equals quotation mark fire nova and quotation mark and square bracket run tag at s add fire nova pretty much if you have the fire nova item it's going to give you the tag of fire nova anyways that's the first command block the second one is a chain unconditional always active and it's execute as at a square bracket tag equals fire nova and square bracket at at s run damage at e square bracket type equals exclamation mark player comma r equals 10 and square bracket for fire Meaning that if you have this fire nova, it's going to run damage in a radius of 10 around you. And it's going to give the effect of fire times four. That's going to hurt the players as well as this one right here. It's a chain conditional always active. This one's pretty much the exact same one, except it's instant damage one, two. Meaning it's going to give the players instant damage for one second with the damage multiplier of two. This third command block is a chain unconditional always active. And what this command block is doing is that it's going to run a particle lava effect above you when you use this. This command block right here is going to be a chain conditional always active and so next one it's going to be execute as at a square bracket tag equals fire nova at s and this command block right here is going to do the play sound effect so just copy and paste this here the sixth command block right here is going to be a chain unconditional always active and it's kill at e square bracket type equals item comma name equals quotation mark fire nova and quotation mark and what this is pretty much showing is that it's going to kill the item that is named fire nova so that it's just not dropped on the floor and you can use it again that's why in the shulker box i have multiple stacks of them because when you use them it goes away and this last command block is a chain unconditional always active and it's tag at a square bracket tag equals fire nova and square bracket remove fire nova so pretty much going to remove the tag if you don't have it but yeah honestly i think this thing is really cool all right time for the next ability we have the item grabber or i guess a grabber and if you saw one of my youtube shorts you saw that i made this thing and i didn't show you guys the command blocks for it but in this video i'm going to show you guys the command blocks for it so what this pretty much does is that you can actually grab any mob as you can see i'm going to grab these cows and just lift them and move them away from me i could actually go all the way like across the map if i really want to see this villager i could grab them pick them up and move them anywhere i want which is actually very helpful with villagers and again it only works when you have the grabber in your hand as you can see i cannot move them when i look at him but when i have the grabber i could actually pick him up and move him anywhere i want but yeah the command block is really simple let me show you guys what it's inside the command block there's only three of them and this one is going to be a repeat unconditional always active in the first one it's tag at a remove ff i don't know why it's ff i just have a ff this next one's going to be a chain unconditional always active and it's really simple it's tag at a square bracket has item equals wavy bracket item equals beacon comma location equals slot dot weapon dot main hand comma data equals 10 and wavy bracket and square bracket add ff so what this is going to do is that it's going to tag the person who has a beacon in their main hand that has a data of 10 it's going to add the ff tag and like i said earlier in the video with an item data being 10 you want to go into their chat and type in slash give at s beacon 110 because you want one beacon amount with a data of 10 or again you could do like 10 beacons with a data of 10 it doesn't matter what matters is a second number that is a data number this last command block is really simple it's a chain unconditional always active and it's execute as at a square bracket tag equals ff n square bracket at at s run tp at e square bracket type equals exclamation mark player comma type equals exclamation mark item comma type equals exclamation mark xp underscore orb 
comma r equals five and square brackets and then we got carrot carrot one carrot five and what this command block is doing is pretty much it's going to tp everything in front of the player besides other players other items and xp orbs as you can see i have an item right here and when i hold out the grabber it won't pick it up same with ores and everything i could be wrong but let me remove this item thing really quick and see what it does now if i have this on the floor can it pick? oh it can pick it it could kind of move it oh wow it could okay so yeah i have it so that it doesn't move the item that's actually really cool i might make a whole nother youtube short on this it's actually really sick i think that's really cool but if you don't want any items xp orbs or players to be picked up then you want to put that in your command block i'm really curious on this player thing so let me like go on my second account and see if it works with players too okay so as you can see it actually glitches us out completely it teleports us like really really far away i don't even know what my game is doing right now so make sure you don't remove the player thing this is actually crazy what the heck's happening yeah this is really broken don't do this guys let me put this back really quick there we go anyways let's get into the fourth ability this next ability is called the stomp ability let me actually grab it from the shulker right here as you can see i have 64 netherite hold on let me do this really quick as you can see i have 64 netherite stars called stomp and if i jump nothing happens obviously let me place all these cows really quick as you can see if i go up here and i jump and i throw it it's going to pretty much lift all the cows in the air and it's going to make them fall and they're all going to die instantly. Also, if you didn't hear it, it makes a sound effect. And it also makes a little cool particle effect, as you can see. Particle effect. But yeah, you don't have to jump from a certain height. It's pretty much like the Fire Nova. All you need to do is just throw it on the floor. And then everything around you goes into the air and they fall down. So it's like a big stomp. But yeah, just imagine that you're jumping and you do a big stomp on people. And as you can see, it's going to lift it in the air. Like, it's just really cool, I guess. Anyways, this one's really simple to make. Again, this one's going to take a lot of command blocks. So make sure they're all facing the same way. But this first command block is going to be repeat, unconditional, always active. And it's execute as at a if entity at e square bracket type equals item comma name equals quotation mark stomp and square bracket run tag at s add stomp. This next command block is going to be a chain unconditional always active execute as at a square bracket tag equals stomp and square bracket at at s run effect at e square bracket type equals exclamation mark player comma r equals six and square bracket levitation 115 true and what this command block is doing is that if you have the tag of stomp it's going to run the effect of you around you six blocks around you levitation 115 meaning that's going to give them levitation for one second with a 15 power that's why they fly so high this third command blocks a chain unconditional always active and it's pretty much the exact same thing except it's going to be four block explosive so if you have the tag of stomp it's going to run damage six blocks around you and it's going to give them four block explosion this next command block a chain unconditional always active it's pretty much the exact same thing except it's going to run particle knockback underscore roar underscore particle so pretty much if you have the tag of stomp it's going to give you that knockback roar particle effect and i did tilde tilde one tilde at the end it's going to spawn it one block above you this fifth command block is a sound it's a chain conditional always active and the delay text is 100 and this one is super simple it's slash play sound vault dot break at a square bracket tag equals stomp and square bracket the next command block after the sound is a chain unconditional always active it's really simple it's kill at e square bracket type equals item comma name equals quotation mark stomp and quotation mark and square bracket and this pretty much gets rid of the item so it's not laying on the floor after you use it and this last one is a chain unconditional always active and this one is tag at a square bracket tag equals stomp and square bracket remove stomp so it removes the tag at the very end but yeah pretty much you can just go up to people and just go like this it'll fly them in the air and they'll fall back down it's really cool and last but not least this last ability is a grappling hook type of deal i have a fishing rod in my hand as you can see and nothing happens when i jump around but if i want to cast it as you can see it teleports me to the area i cast or the way i'm looking so let's say i want to go to this tree right here as you can see i am now teleported to the tree or i guess really moved to the tree but yeah it's going to be shaky as you can see it shakes the camera a little bit but honestly it gets the job done if i want to jump over the wall just do that and now i'm over the wall as you can see if i want to go up there just go like this and now i'm actually on top of the hill it's really cool can i make it up there we'll see no i kind of glitch and i kind of messed it up I died. But yeah, it's really cool. As you can see, I can go left and right. I could go on this tree if I really want to. Boom, just like that. I go over here. And if you really want to exploit this thing, you can actually just spam click it like this. And as you can see, I am now flying through the air. 
As you can see, I'm going higher and higher and I'm just flying through the air. And if you want to just go back down, just go like this and just very at the very end, just kind of like save yourself. But yeah, honestly, this grappling hook is really cool and it only takes one command block, which I'm very proud to use. This command block is a repeat command block, unconditional, always active, and it's really simple command. It's execute as at a at at e square bracket type equals fishing underscore hook and square bracket run tp at as carrot 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 one and when you have that done you could just use a fishing rod and go around and just grapple to different places but yeah if this video helps you guys out don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel again thank you guys for 40,000 subscribers you guys are amazing and that means we're 10,000 away from half a hundred thousand subscribers but yeah if this video helps you guys out send it to a friend if you guys really want to but before i go youtube is recommending this video to you guys for my channel so definitely go check it out but anyways my name is gabe and i'm out peace